So the first thing I'd say about riding a Vespa scooter in Rome is what an absolute privilege. This bike was developed on the streets of Rome, you know, cobbled streets, uh, potholes. They're almost as bad as UK roads, to be honest. Uh, but actually, this bike is in its natural environment. You can tell that 100%. So they've done some work on the suspension, particularly at the front. They've redesigned the suspension system and um, uh, the 2022 bike feels really compliant, actually, particularly over those cobbles when it's a little bit damp as well. Scooters quite often get a bit unsettled in that environment, but not so much with the uh, GTS 300. So a good job well done there. Uh, ditto the uh, changes they've made to the brakes as well. They've um, put a Brembo uh, caliper on the front. They've got a Nissan caliper on the back and um, two Brembo master cylinders because you've got, uh, it's a scooter, a twist and go scooter, so you've got brakes on either side. Um, and they've angled the um, actual brake levers downwards as well. So when you're on the bike, it feels a lot more comfortable. It feels, um, you know, I, I spent three or four hours riding around, having a great time um, on the streets of Rome and outside Rome. Uh, on some of the country roads and it was just um, it was just magic it, it's brilliant I didn't feel tired I um, just felt like I could keep going and going and going um, so what's a Vespa like to ride uh, the um, overriding impression I've got is that it's easy you know it's a twist and go it's got a CVT um, transmission so no gears to worry about you just step through step on swish it on and go so um, when you uh, step onto the bike for the first time, uh, one of the new things for 2022 is it's got keyless ignition. So you don't need to take the key out of your pocket, fumble around with that. All you need to do is step on the bike. You've got a little twisting, um, twisting knob on the uh, steering column. Push that in, twist it round, the screen comes alive. And at that point, all you need to do is hold the brake, press the ignition button, and you are away. And you will be buzzing your way through city streets and having a great time. One of the things that I really liked about the Vespa was how easy it is to maneuver through traffic. Um, the bars are 20 millimeters wider um, on the new Vespa, but actually there's so much steering lock that it's really maneuverable. You can get in between cars very easily and it's, um, it, it's just so simple and user friendly. It's, you can tell there's, there's been you know, decades and decades of uh, development right back to 1946. And that really shows in the uh, final product that we've got here. Would I choose the 300 or 278cc version over the 125? Personally, yes I would, because I rode both. I felt the 125 was a little bit sluggish, although still very characterful. It's got a lovely thrum to the engine. It's got a nice little engine note, so it is quite characterful, but stepping between the two, the 300 does have considerably more punch, um, and it chimes with the speed that the traffic was going in Rome a little bit better for me as well. Um, I found I was, um, at full throttle for quite a long time in the 125 and obviously that's going to have a bit of a detrimental effect to your fuel economy. Obviously one of the um, main advantages of a scooter is it is so cheap to run so that is a consideration. Um, but this one's not particularly cheap to buy. We're um, testing the top spec version of the GTS 300. Uh, it's called Supertech um, and it costs £6,400, which is a lot when you start putting it in context of uh, other scooters. However, people will not buy this because it's a cheap scooter. People will buy the Vespa because they love a Vespa. They like it for what it represents. They like the design. I like the design. I think the um, later touches they've done for the 2022 bikes have really made a big difference in terms of modernizing the bike, but also keeping that kind of uh, heritage look that um, they're, uh, they're very well known for. Another thing that we need to think about with um, inner city scooters is practicality. Practicality is important. Um, you need to be able to transport some stuff. Uh, with the Vespa, you've got a space under the seat um, on the top spec Supertech, this one. It's lit and it's got carpet in there, you know, all very premium stuff. Uh, it doesn't fit my shoey closed face lid in it though. Um, you would want an open face lid if you want to uh, stick it underneath the seat. But, you know, regardless, there's also a glove box, which is a very practical touch. That's now got a USB in it, so you can charge your mobile device while you're going. Um, and, you know, past that, the step through nature of a scooter just um, lends itself perfectly to um, in easy inner city riding. 
Although the CVT transmission is very, very easy, it makes life um, super simple when you're on city streets, uh, traditional motorcyclists used to a geared bike might not find it quite as engaging. It's got a bit of a kind of elastic band nature to it. You know, it makes a lot of noise and then it gets on with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, I'm really trying to kind of uh, pick holes a little bit here. The CVT is part of the experience. It's what makes the bike so accessible. So, hey, uh, it's only a problem if you, uh, if you want it to be. And also from a practicality perspective, uh, there are some foot pegs that come out of the body on either side for passengers. Um, the seat's been made comfier for passengers, allegedly. I didn't test that. Um, but what I did notice is these foot pegs are so far forward on the bike that it's actually going to be quite uncomfortable for passengers to um, sit there with their feet on them. So I'm not really too sure what that's about. So in conclusion, Vespa GTS 300 is brilliant fun. It's so easy to ride, so accessible, particularly in city traffic when, you know, you've got a lot going on around you. It is just, it, it, it's a, a beacon of simplicity in that environment. It's a really nice thing to uh, enjoy. Um, it's practical enough, you know, it's nice and cheap to run. Um, personally, I love the look. It's got so much character as well. It's a really important point. That's what really makes you feel good about riding a Vespa through, um, through these sorts of streets. And even out on the open road, you know, it's got enough performance and the handling is fun enough that it, it, you just can't stop smiling. I, I just felt like after four or five hours in the saddle, I just wanted to get back on again and go. So yeah, Vespa GTS, brilliant upgrade for 2022. It's got more tech, it's a little bit more modern, but actually it still retains that core Vespa character that is so important to traditionalists. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again on MCN.